Okay. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome or welcome back to the channel. Hello if you're new here. It's your girl Chanel. I'm your resident movie watching BFF. This is the channel where we watch movies together and I let you know what's going on in my brain the whole time I'm watching them and we do it from a filmmaking perspective. Stick around to the end of one of my videos because we hit the IMDB movie trivia together and that's that on that. I hope you enjoy yourself. Today's video is going to be The Fugitive. This, I want this to be one of my blindest reacts ever. So when I say I know nothing about The Fugitive, I know nothing. I'm reluctant to even, okay. So I just typed it into the bar of IMDb. I didn't even hit the page. I see Harrison Ford, Tommy Lee Jones, 1993. That's it. The Fugitive. The poster looks kind of um, action-y. And a lot of you guys have recommended The Fugitive um, after all my last run of videos. Basically, I think Silent Bob and Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back, you guys were like, hey, some of those parts were a nod to The Fugitive. I think that Men in Black had some nods to the fugitive and I do see Tommy Lee Jones in here so I think like I said I think this is going to be the blindest react I've ever done as in I know the least that I've ever known some movies I know a really little but this one I know a really little I haven't even heard of the fugitive the fugitive just makes me sound like someone is running and it might be Harrison Ford and maybe Tommy Lee Jones is after him and we've kind of been into these cat and mouse chases on the channel anyway um we just did heat and I have done Departed, so I am not looking anything else about The Fugitive up. I don't even know the director. All right, I will look up the director. Andrew Davis. Don't know him. That's it. That's all I want to know. So, shortest intro on record. I don't want to know any more. If you want more from me, my Patreon is in the description box below. I would love it, love it, love it if you join me over there. Other ways to support me below. Maybe you need some gear. Hit one of my Amazon affiliate links. And without further ado, I mean, let's get right into today's video, which is The Fugitive from 1993, babe. <laughs> oh. Oh. Well, if your volume's up loud enough, you will get a jump scare right there. Jesus Christ, the future. Okay. Huh. Oh, all right, this has got to go lower. Julie Ann freaking Moore? Hell yeah, love her. Are we witnessing a crime? Oh, somebody's dead. <laughs> Chicago! Yay! I love being in Chicago for movies. I almost called him Harry. I was like, Harry! Harrison. Tales are sketchy at this hour, but we understand that Dr. Kimball's wife, Helen, was found murdered in the home this evening. And wife. Details, as I indicate, are very sketchy. We do know this, that he and his wife, Helen, were at a fundraiser at the Four Seasons Hotel early this evening, a fundraiser for the Children's Research Fund. I just keep thinking about that reporter's use of sketchy. Details are sketchy. Details are ambiguous. Richard Kimball, how are you? Dr. Kimball. Yes, that works too. Oh, Sella. I know her from something pretty famous that I used to like. Maybe it was Dr. House? I don't remember. Dr. Kimball? Yes, it is. Sorry to bother you, sir, but Dr. Stevens just went into emergency OR and asked if you could give him a hand. All right, call him back and tell him I'll be right there. Thank you, doctor. I'll wait up for you. Ah, so he went to the hospital. Ugh, and she was home alone. Lentz's name is on the chart. You page him, but no answer. Here, guys. Hold me in there. Let's give me some room. Dr. Harrison Ford, down. And he had, which was his right or left arm? Was it one of those with the, the hooks or? Yes, we have a gun in the house. The gun and the bullets. And the good doctor skin is under her fingernails. Doctor skin under her fingernails, did he say? We can try and pin it on him. Is she insured? <gasps> yes, she is. Double indemnity. The beneficiary. Me. The sole beneficiary? Yes. Pin it on the husband. I mean, she was worth quite a bit of money. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. He had a mechanical arm. The color of his eyes. <sighs> a 
of Richard Kimball's guilt. Indisputable scientific evidence. His DNA is probably everywhere. We'll hear a voice from the grave, the voice of Helen Kimball identifying her killer, her husband, Richard Kimball. I took that literally, you guys. <laughs> It's like, how's she gonna talk from the grave? Explain. The defendant's prints were found on the gun and the bullets. No other sets were found other than the housekeeper <gasps> and the deceased. <sighs> scared me. Your Honor, we would ask to play Helen Kimball's 911 emergency call. What seems to be the problem, ma'am? He's <gasps> here still in the house. Richard? Mr. Kimball. <sighs> that sucks to have to listen to. An indicative of wanton cruelty. He's going to run, isn't he? He's going to be found guilty and then run. Where you will await execution by lethal injection. A date to be set forth by the Attorney General of the state. Let's go, Simon. The fugitive. Makes sense now. Prisoners, coming out. Oh my goodness. Credits kick back in. Characters created by Roy Higgins book the fugitive is a book maybe this old lady's got him on a diet right in <laughs> they gotta run right here crash the bus make a run for it <sighs> oh that's so scary this is so scary That was well done. Camera's inside of a bus as it's flipping upside down. Crazy. Yeah, doctor, do something. Unlock me. Yeah. What the hell is that? Gonna get hit. It's my ass, doc. I just realized, are they on train tracks? I didn't know that. Holy sh. Jump. <sighs> Look at this shot. There's a freaking train coming at him. How? How? How are we filming that? How? There's just like a runaway train off its track coming at Harrison Ford in the frame. Like, what? Oh. Holy shit. <laughs> okay, now he's a fugitive. Now he runs. Aw, your buddy. Wow. Kept the key, lucky. Just don't follow me. You got that? Yeah. Be good. Be good. Tommy Lee Jones. Whoa, 20 minutes in, baby. Hey, man. The circus. We got a face off. Somehow I grabbed him and, and I pushed him out of the bus. You're a brave man. You could have both been killed. Liar. I to talk uh, to I'll be with you in just a minute. Okay. One more time, just for the record. Uh, these Great reaction shot. Okay. Ralph, I'd hate to see that happen, so I guess I'll take over your investigation. On what authority? The men in black. <laughs> you know, we're always fascinated when we find leg irons with no legs in them. Who held the key, sir? I don't know. Care to revise your statement, sir? Yeah, you liar. For uneven ground, barring injuries, four miles an hour. That gives us a radius of six miles. How fast would you guys be running if you were him? I'd be sprinting. Go get him. I'd run, because he's on death row, so. Outfit change. 
Get a fax ID on Kimmel to every local hospital. And follow it with troopers. Why do I feel like they don't make movies like this anymore? These like big, epic, crime running away movies. Well, think me up a cup of coffee and a chocolate donut with some of those little sprinkles on top. What are you going to your thinking? <laughs> Come on. Hang in there, brother. We're going to get. Oh, shit. Alive? Oof. Hidden in plain sight. The filmmaking is pretty pretty cut and dry in this. It's pretty clear. Um, just love in the frantic moments when we have some handheld camera. It's pretty cool. I like it. I'll lock that door, though. Right? <sighs> cool. I'll eat up before this gets cold. Really does get dry in here, doesn't it? She deliberately looks the other way. Come on, Han Solo. Hey, Doc, we're looking for a prisoner from that bus train wreck a couple hours ago. Might be hurt. 6'1, 180, brown hair, brown eyes, beards. Anyone like that around? Every time we look in the mirror, pal. Except for me. <laughs> Every time he gets away with it, man. I know he's going to get away with it for almost the whole movie until we have a showdown. Until we have a Jean Valjean 24601 moment. But man, oh man. It's a good setup, you guys. It's a really good premise. It just makes sense. A doctor would have all this insider knowledge and just be able to hide right in plain sight in a hospital. So I think it's really cool. Where the hell is he going in an ambulance? Somewhere far away at a very high speed, I'd assume. State Highway 53, running out of map. Oh my god, they have a helicopter? It's not fair. Start backing up, buddy. Or a U-turn. <gasps> the sewer. So in Jay and Silent Bob, they go in the sewer. What do you got? You gotta be kidding me. What? You gotta be kidding me! We gotta go for I thought the sewer stuff might be the ending of the movie, the way that you guys talked about it in the comments of Jane Silent Bob Strike Back, but no, it seems like a right now thing. Lost his weapon. Right there, baby. I didn't kill my wife! I don't care! No, he had another... You double carry when you're a cop? Probably triple. Richard, do you want to get shot? Jump it. He jumps. Oh, no, 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 no. That's a no for me, dog. No, no, no. I don't know. Do you survive it? What happened? Where'd it go? Go get a Peter Pan right here off of this thing. <laughs> this movie got jokes. Hounds. I want hounds on both banks of this river for two miles upstream and downstream. Damn, this man's got a real vendetta. Everything from me. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, he has curly hair. Really, lady? Really? Need a ride? That was risky. Yeah. yeah. No, we need a <laughs> nice sweater vest. <laughs> Oh. I got your man! I got your man, you hear me? No, no, no. Him, not the doctor, not Harrison Ford. Hold it, don't shoot! Don't shoot! Okay, clowns, little comedy right there. Shut up. 
That was like so Agent K, wasn't it? My advice both is your friend and legal counsel is for you to give yourself up. Now tell me, where are you? St. Louis. St. Louis. Got Hold it right there where the lawyer says that he sounds guilty. There's Come on, running running makes you look guilty. Next, uh, Next uh, star. Merchandise Mark. Son of a Our boy came home. I knew that was an elevated train. Oh yeah, big dog, you're never wrong. <laughs> Excellent. I love movies like this where I feel like the expert along with them. I want to come back just like you. <laughs> oh, you mean happy and handsome? Yes. Oh my god, Richard. Hey buddies. What? I need some money. Sure, sure, get in. Have you got a place to stay? I mean... He's helping him? Would you feel warm? It is kitchen, sing. Oh, but there is bathroom. Dead. <laughs> this woman's just gonna rent up a spot. Now, you all know what high regard we hold this scumbag. So I personally am donating a bottle of 12-year-old scotch to whoever puts the collar on this quack. Still, he's still in his hometown? Just chilling? Oh, he is so ballsy for this, though. I would never. I'd be getting off the grid. But. It is absolutely ridiculous that his case did not entail them finding a guy with a freaking prosthetic arm. Okay, I saw Richard this morning. What? You saw him this morning? He stopped me in my car. I gave him some money. No. I forgot it was this guy. Richard is innocent. You'll never find him. He's too smart. We're yeah. smart guys. Yeah, what about us? Last time I looked. Yeah, we're smart. We are. I mean, how smart could he be? <laughs> how long have you known Richard King? Ten years. Since I've been here. I am wondering if Tommy Lee Jones is going to start pushing for his innocence or if through and through he's going to be like, that man is scum. First of all, I want you to know that I believe Richard Kimball to be innocent. Jane Lynch. Oh, he's about to narrow it down to the one guy in the whole country who has this type of joint. When I came home, there was a man in my house. I don't really understand how he's paying for the apartment. Where is he? Yeah, I was going to say the apartment thing is it's a no go. Who do they have? You like stringing out 12 year old girls, huh? <gasps> the son? Another fake out. Are you kidding me? <sighs> Start in here, huh? Oh, okay. Good idea. Become the janitor and then you can look around the prosthetic lab. Wow. Genius. <laughs> I'm just cleaning the blinds. <laughs> One, five, <gasps> five. There's five. I really, really love the way this is unfolding. I We only watch good movies on the channel, but I find that we're in a really good run right now of movies that are unfolding very beautifully. And now I'm talking through Julianne Moore. I saw her. How you doing, Jane? How you feeling? My chest hurt. Bob, get this one in the room for a stat. Just saved his life. Oh, that just hit me really hard. <sighs> the, I think it was the music kind of swelling at that moment. Who changed those orders? I don't know what you mean. She knows him. Hey! Excuse me. He saved a kid. I called security and he yeah. took off down the hall. What was I supposed to do? Tackle him, Julianne Moore. How's the boy doing? He saved his life. Thank you. Saved his life. So why would a guy be stupid enough to come and hang out in the trauma ward, act like he's Mother Teresa? Excuse me. Yeah, sorry. <gasps> no arm. 
That's what he's doing here. Mid humorous. That gives us 47 possibles. 47? Robert. Right now. Ah, I was thinking about how they dye the river green. If they can dye this river green today, why can't they dye it blue the other 364 days of the year? <laughs> oh, God. Let's go. I'm going to be so pumped to see if it's the curly haired guy or not. Oh. Well, are you? Um, well, I'm sorry, I made a mistake. No, it's not him. It's not him. Roger! No, he looked up. Holy sh. Oh. If someone called my name, I might not be able to resist that and just. What? Oh, that's so crazy. Hold it! <sighs> okay, hospital bulletproof glass, right? That makes sense. That tracks. And the touch that it's St. Patrick's Day, so there's just gonna be so much traffic right now. <laughs> Let's do a police chase in a parade. Great day for this. Great day for this. Why, Deputy Gerard, why do you feel that Dr. Kimball came back to Chicago? I have no idea. Because he's Cubs forever, baby. Okay, here we go, people. Act three of this movie. Two more people on that list, I think I saw. I still don't know where he's getting his money. He does not have, I know he has money, the doctor, but. Hmm, is that him? It's him. Yep, getting good. There's some guy on line three claims he's Richard Kimball. <gasps> Who is it? Yeah, it's cause he's got the guy. Do you remember what I told you in the tunnel? I didn't kill my wife. You didn't kill your wife. Remember what you told me? I don't care. That's right, I don't care. I'm not trying to solve a puzzle here. Richard! Richard! Okay, lead him right there. I got you. Damn, boy's on his way. We got you, Rob. It's the guy. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Everybody knows my name here. Big happy family, huh? Mm -hmm. What is this, a trench coat convention? What the hell's going on? Trench coat convention. Richard Kimball? I don't know any Richard Kimball. Oh, really? Well, hell yes, I have a prosthetic arm. I must have murdered his wife, right? I went through all of this a year ago. You should know that. They came here and they questioned me about the whole damn thing. I'll tell you what I told them. <sighs> well, at least they did. How'd you lose that arm? In the line of duty. Crocodile. I found him, Chuck. I found the man who killed Helen. You knew I found out it was causing liver damage. It was Lens. Richard, Lens is dead. <gasps> How? He died in a car accident last summer. Richard. What? The guy who did it has been dead since last summer? Don't know it. So, if you'll excuse me. Sure. Oof. Thanks, Doc. Face off. So good, right? Arterial plaque reducing therapy. Keynote speaker Charles Nichols. Bet you they line up to hear this one. I love that extreme close up on Tommy Lee Jones's face, watching him just think. That reaction shot is everything for me as an audience member. I just am like, I'm thinking with him. And we are, he's not speaking, so we're filling in. What is he, where's he gonna go? What's he thinking? It's good to see you. Guys. Good to see you. Say, whatever happened to that thing with your wife? He was a no. I think his name is Alec Lentz, a pathologist. I only remember his name because he died last summer. That's the guy who died. Oh my God, Richard. Oh. Sue Sylvester herself. I guess. I love Jane Lynch. It's a small part for her. She must have just been on the scene. Cold now. Clearly not the same tissue. And not only 
did they all come from healthy livers? They all came from the same liver. Someone is covering something up. Half of the samples he approved were signed the day he died. <laughs> Someone else must have been manipulating this. Yep. Check Sykes' records for the past two years against Kimball found nothing. Yeah, but when I cross-checked Kimball's phone records, one came up. Kimball called Sykes on the night of his wife's murder. Kimball called Sykes. Sam, they just went in. Sykes is gone. He's nowhere to be found. What? Did he become a fugitive? <laughs> oh my god, this is so tense. Holy crap. You and me, brother. So scary. Prick his other arm. Yeah, beat this f head. Mr. Stop. <gasps> Whoa, Nelly. Grand finale. I guess I'm hoping for a Tommy Lee Jones, Harrison Ford face off. Where? Maybe Tommy Lee Jones is like, you were right. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, my friends and colleagues. It's great you're all here tonight. Okay. Good guy, right? Good guy. Helpful. That's my man. Not anymore. He's not. He's going down. If you want to help us, you stay the hell out. Arrest us. Okay, we're well, locked down. Start with the lower level. I was about to say, these marshals really be all over the place. <laughs> it's my jurisdiction. Not anymore, bitch. Uh, drugs. Name is Provazic. His buddy is pushing the bad drug. I was about to say, this doesn't sit well with me. Remarkably effective and has no side effects whatsoever. It is also noteworthy that this drug... Tell me more, buddy. Tell me more. ...with the Chicago Memorial Hospital and what... <sighs> ...industry, Richard. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm in the middle of this speech. He ordered the hit on Kimball. He switched the samples. He falsified his research so that our DU-90 could be approved and Devlin McGregor could give you Provasic. This happens a bunch in science, I bet. I've heard stories, friends. You'll never give up, Rachel. Jeez. I like this. I like this. It's not a gunfight. It's a classic. A mo this is a movie fight. I haven't seen a good movie fight in since Die Hard. As soon as you get a clean shot, you take him out. They're still after Richard, though. Is that who Tommy Lee Jones thinks he's supposed to be shooting? Yep. What do we call that? He went for the, not a jab, a hook, a hook. It's so loud. It's the hook for me. They are not putting Han Solo in an elevator shaft right now. <laughs> they stopped at the fifth floor. They're on the fifth floor. What is on the fifth floor? The laundry. Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> Uh, comment below, you guys, what's on the fifth floor? I want to hear jokes. Floor, what is on the fifth floor? Ikea. Kimbo! There's no way out of here, Richard! The entire building is locked down! I did not kill my wife! Richard, I know you're innocent! I know about Frederick Sykes! Is he just saying that, though? Is he just him? Maybe. Richard, he borrowed your car the night of your wife's murder. He had the keys. No forced entry, Richard. That explains the phone call. 
I didn't understand the phone call. He telephoned Sykes from your car, Richard. <sighs> Richard, I'm either lying or I'm gonna shoot you. What do you think? Richard, is he being so quiet right now, not giving himself up because of the other doctor, because of Nichols right now? Oh, look at that close up. Did you see that? So many chills. That was so beautiful. <sighs> yes, saved him. Excellent. It's time to stop running. I'm emotional. They killed my wife. I know it, Richard. You know I'm glad. I need the rest. That's that? I mean, that's that for the movie. I'm like, now he's got a real legal battle ahead of him, doesn't he? I've never seen so much that I've been around here a long time. <sighs> I can take a deep breath now. All right, let's go. If you can prove without a shadow of a doubt that somebody else did it, do you just get let out of jail despite being convicted and on death row? We'll see those hands after. Called him doctor. I thought you didn't care. I don't. <laughs> I don't care. Don't tell anybody, okay? Thought, thought you didn't care. It's a really nice callback. I feel this much emotional from that. That was a freaking pleasure. Let's talk about it. The Fugitive from 1993. I have now seen it. That was a real pleasure to watch. That's probably exactly the kind of screenplay that I really like. It's tight. The plot falls like dominoes. It just one knocks over the other, knocks over the other. Me explaining what dominoes are. The plot is just so well crafted. It is very well paced, this movie. It is very compelling. We don't know a scrap of information too soon. We don't know a scrap of information too late. It unfolds very much, very beautifully in real time for me. It's one of those movies that makes me feel like a smarty pants, which you know I love if you've been here for, I don't know, a couple other videos on the channel. What if we just watch Heat? And same thing, Cat and Mouse Game and The Departed and... So standouts for me, screenplay. And the filmmaking is very just non-obtrusive, but it is powerful and unfold beautifully. So I, a glowing review for me. This is just very fun to watch. That score adds a ton. I felt affected by the score a lot. I see it won one Oscar and I'm gonna go ahead and say, I wanna say screenplay for the Oscar. Let's see what it was. I don't know. Okay, nominated for best picture. Winner, Best Actor in a Supporting Role, Tommy Lee Jones. It was also nominated for Cinematography, Sound, and Film Editing for the Oscars. Best Effects and Best Music. The score was pretty great. So nothing for writing. Weird. Weird to me. Okay. I would like to go on to some trivia just to see what I missed. So, okay. The director, Andrew Davis. I know him from Holes. He directed Holes. Um, he also did this 2006 movie, The Guardian, with Ashton Kutcher, which I happen to love. I think The Guardian is great. Let's hit that trivia. Well, okay, we can do budget. I'll say 50 mil. Budget was estimated 44 million. So finally, I'm not too far off because that's embarrassing. It's not embarrassing. I just like to be right. <laughs> I was about to say, Harrison Ford kind of has a limp in this. It says Harrison Ford damaged some ligaments in his leg during the filming of the scenes in the woods. He refused to take surgery until the end of the filming so his character would keep the limp. The limp can be seen in any subsequent scene where Richard Kimball is running. Cool. That's dangerous if you don't shoot in order, though, I will say, because movies are usually shot out of order. So imagine the forest stuff doesn't happen till later in the shooting schedule and then he's got a limp at random times. Could have been bad. Whoa, scene where Kimball is running through the St. Patrick's Day Parade was not scripted. This is an addition by Andrew Davis. Andrew Davis, a native of the city, wanted to capture the parade and was granted permission from the mayor's office to film the day of the parade. Entire sequence was shot with handheld steady cam without rehearsal. Ford and Jones just went out into the crowd, did their thing with camera operators running, trying to keep up. 
Okay, this is what I had the biggest question on, the train crash. Andrew Davis only had one chance to crash the train in the train scene and he had to get it right. So he consulted an array of engineers, stunt doubles, and the insurance company to predict what would happen. The train was expected to crash into the bus at 35 miles per hour, but the director was in error. The train came in at 42 miles per hour. Nevertheless, the scene went in exactly as planned. That is so crazy they actually did it, and I think you can tell. Wrecked train and bus remain a tourist attraction in Dillsboro, North Carolina. So those scenes were North Carolina. Ah, the original line was written as, that isn't my problem, in response to, I didn't kill my wife. Um, at the request of Tommy Lee Jones, it was changed to, I don't care. Which, to me, that's just Tommy Lee Jones's whole demeanor and MO. Wax bullets, bullets were fired at the glass door at the same time Tommy Lee Jones was firing his blanks. Cool. Tommy Lee Jones reportedly said, it's not like anyone's going to win any awards for this film. However, the movie was eventually nominated for seven Academy Awards and three Golden Globes, with Jones himself ironically winning both the Globe and the Academy Award. <laughs> Whoa, both Harrison Ford and Tommy Lee Jones improvised many of their scenes. That's pretty crazy to me. It was cheaper to use full-size locomotives at around $20,000 each rather than creating the crash scene using miniatures. I was about to say, that did not look like miniatures. And the budget was quite tight. It was impossible to rehearse this key scene and it was a one-shot deal. That blew my fucking mind. Can't even mistake it for miniatures. Oh, Julianne Moore's brief role landed her the interview with Spielberg who would cast her in The Lost World Jurassic Park. Harrison Ford was in that river. It was cold. The crew kept tubs of hot water off camera to keep him warm. The dam is the is in Graham County, North Carolina. Oh, it was a, f a television series, The Fugitive, 1963, on which the film was based. Ah, that explains it. In the beginning, I thought maybe a book, but no. All right, let's look up some references. I feel really good about that trivia. So we'll just look up like if there are any references for the channel so far. Okay, the mask. Jim Carrey says, it wasn't me, it was the one-armed man. That's very funny. Bob's Burgers, Johnny Bravo, King of the Hill, The Simpsons, Community, Brooklyn Nine-Nine, Films. Okay, so The Fugitive is quite referenced. All right, so you've now seen my reaction to The Fugitive from 1993. I thought that was an absolute, absolute, I thought that was an absolute pleasure to watch. I loved it. It was very fun. So if you have any suggestions in this vein, um, I'm always down to hear it. It very much reminded me of like a Die Hard. It just kind of unfolded very much in real time. It's that heart pounding, just high action, doesn't lag, doesn't lose my attention movie. And I loved it. So you're going to have to let me know what you thought of The Fugitive down below. Did you go in theaters? That's my favorite thing to ask. Did you see it in 1993? What'd you think? Was this like a blockbuster of the time? Were you like, damn, I can't wait to see The Fugitive and Harrison Ford and Tommy Lee Jones? Or was it like more quiet for you? I'd assume this was like a big movie. As always, if you want more from me, my Patreon is in the description box below. I would love it if you support me over there. Give this video a like, a comment, a share, and maybe a subscribe if you haven't already. And you know the drill. I'm gonna go eat.